Joining us live with how it all works. Good morning, Ash. Hi guys, good morning. Take a look, our guys here milling a black walnut tree. They're gonna get that process started in about one minute. They're gonna slide that slab off and we're gonna get a chance to see exactly what the inside of that tree actually looked like. And it's gonna be exciting to see the formation because every time they cut into a tree, you have no idea what is in fact, what the inside or what the pattern will be. I wanna bring in Jennifer with Urban Wood Rescue. Good morning to you. Good morning. Hello, so we're watching the milling process right now, but after the milling process, what happens next? So uh, we will actually take all of those slabs and we'll stack them. Uh, in many cases, they're set aside and air dried for anywhere between six months to two years. And then we actually will put them in a kiln. Okay. And so we actually have a really cool vacuum kiln uh, here with us, right over here. And so we're able to put those slabs into that kiln uh, where they'll dry from anywhere from two weeks to a month. Um, and then that, that reduces the moisture in the wood and it's available for sale. Um, you want the moisture low because you don't want the wood to move uh, once once it's in your house or you've finished it as a product. And for those who are just turning, uh, tuning in, Urban Wood Rescue is really an incredible organization taking old wood or trees in the community and keeping it in the community, and that's the whole focus. Um, instead of having it go to a landfill, you bring it here and you rescue it. And for many people, it turns into incredible pieces of furniture. If you take a look right here, uh, you'll see slabs, and that's what you sell. Now, you guys don't do the whole process in terms of maybe turning those slabs into a table, but you guys get it to that point. Correct. Uh, any log that comes into our yard, we do what's called rough sawn. Uh, and so you're just getting a basic slab out of it. Uh, and then we're able to uh, either send it on a, to its no, new home with the do-it-yourselfer, or we're able to recommend local makers in the area who can finish the product uh, and make it into what you want, a table, a bench. Yeah. Um, anything, yeah. Sorry, anything speaking of benches, take a look right here. Here is something from one of their walnut trees. We talked about the walnut tree earlier. Mm -hmm. um, you guys got quite a few uh, from, was it? Wheatland, a uh, uh, walnut orchard actually in Wheatland, and somebody was able to turn a piece of slab into this incredible bench. Exactly. This is one of our partners uh, from San Luis Obispo, who is also in the urban wood industry, uh, and he was able to take some of those slabs that we were showing you earlier and put it into this lovely bench that could be used anywhere uh, in your home. What a great thing you guys are doing. So we're going to swing back on over to these guys. I'm going to have you guys slide that off whenever you're ready to. Um, as they're, and as they're doing that, let's really quick talk about this weekend. You guys, unfortunately, did close for a little bit of time, a little bit of time because of the COVID crisis. But now this weekend, finally, you guys are, in fact, opening back up. Yeah, exactly. Uh, we were closed for about eight weeks and just doing online sales. Uh, but we will be opening back up starting this Friday uh, from 9.30 to 3.30, and then we'll be open as well as Saturday, 9.30 to 3.30, okay. and then Sundays from 10 to 3 moving forward. All right, sounds good. Okay, let's walk over here really right. quick, Jen, as we get ready to wrap it up. Look how beautiful this is, you guys. This is, again, a black walnut tree that they just milled and sliced through. Jen, if you could tell me a little bit about the pattern that we're seeing. Sure. So here on the outside, you're seeing uh, the... The sapwood, uh, which is the outside of the tree, and then here in the middle is the sapwood. And so here you're seeing a lot of um, the black color from the black walnut, as well as the figure that runs up through through the log. And so if this was, we had run water over this, you would see really shiny black here, and then a blonder color here. Yeah. Uh, this tree is pretty amazing in that it has such a um, large heartwood. Um, which it will make a really nice table or piece for somebody. All right, sounds good. And the cool thing is somebody at some point is going to chance going to get a chance to take that slab of wood home. We're yeah. going to put all their information on our website, gooddaysacramento.com. And really quick, Jen, how much generally does a slab of wood go for? Does it just generally depend on what kind of tree? Right, it really depends on species and size. Okay. And so you're looking at anywhere between $100 and $1,000, depending wow. on your species. All right, sounds good. Thank you so much. Again, they are keeping... Uh, wood across the community in Sacramento right here in our home. So make sure you guys check them out. Urban Wood Rescue. Back over to you. I Very love cool. that. So yeah. cool. I know. Some beautiful.